Hey guys, Mo Muller here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you three simple steps that you can do to start your blog and start earning money. So follow along in today's video, and I'll show you all the simple setups that I use, websites that I used for buying domains, the websites that I use for hosting domains, um, and my top favorite themes that I use, which is super important, to make sure that the site is fast, optimized, and ready to make money. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so we are in Namecheap right now. Uh, there are several websites that I use to purchase domains from, um, and I'll link some of the top ones that I use in the description below. But for one of the cheapest places to actually find and register your domain, I use a website called namecheap.com. So feel free to head over here. Of course, you're gonna wanna play around with some names for the website title. Um, but if you're not sure, feel free to just do some, a few brainstorms. Uh, or what I generally do right now is I just go to ChatGPT, put in best name for a dog website, and it will give me 10, 20, or 50 URLs, domains that I can choose from, and I'll just choose the best one that fits. So I've gone ahead and picked a toy website for, for a pet website. So I've called this one Dog Toys Forever, and I'm gonna hit search. So now it's gonna give me lots of different uh, options to, to choose from, whether I want .coms or .nets or .orgs. I always tend to go for .coms unless I'm doing something totally different outside of building an affiliate blog. So .com seems to be the, the best way um, forward and it will give you access to kind of a worldwide audience as opposed to maybe .co.uk or something of that nature. Now, once you're happy with the name that you've chosen, you're obviously you're just gonna click add to cart and then go through the ordering process. Now, one thing that I would suggest when you're checking out in any of the places that you can buy a domain is most of the time you don't need any add-ons, okay? So one of the things that I've learned is that as you're going through the domain process and you're picking up a new domain, you're gonna get lots of different um, add-ons from from the company that you've chosen. So whether it's Namecheap or GoDaddy or Dreamhost, for example, um, generally you don't need them. So bear that in mind. So as you can see here, we've got a privacy one and a premium DNS, um, which is just a way for, for your host, your website to be hosted um, on a more secure server. But for your first website, you're not gonna need that. And there are free tools that you can use to, to host your website um, in, in, in a secure way. If they're offering you something for free, obviously forever, then feel free to keep that on. Uh, and once you're happy with everything that you have, so of course there's other things you can you can include here, VPNs, WordPress hosting, business emails. Again, you don't need any of these things in my opinion. Um, feel free to, to sign up at a later stage, but for now you just need your the standard domain name that you picked and we're gonna add some hosting on separately. So once you're happy, you just hit the confirm order button, go through your payment information, and then your domain name will be ready for you in your name sheet or in whatever account that you've used. Now the next step is hosting. Now hosting is really competitive and lots of different companies are gonna to wanna to get your money, basically, because as you host a website with them for the first year or two or three, generally you end up staying with them for four, five, six or, or indefinitely unlimited amount of time. So it's a really competitive industry to get your money. I would generally rec recommend going with GoDaddy. Um, I've used them in the past. I host lots of websites with them. The support service is second to none, it's amazing. And generally their prices are okay, kind of middle of, in the range of, of what you would pay for hosting. Uh, there are lots of cheaper alternatives, but again, you sometimes get what you pay for. Generally, many people tend to go for Bluehost, but I personally don't work with them, so I don't really have much good or bad to say about them. I know they pay fantastic CPA uh, commissions and, rever and affiliate referral rates. That could be the reason why it's referred quite often. Um, but generally, I use GoDaddy for my individual sites. And then there is a separate website that I use for my managed hosting, and I'll show you that in a second. So for GoDaddy, of course, you want to head over to the site and hit C plans. Um, managed hosting, these are per month. You can pick up whichever one you think is the most suitable. Um, for your first site, I recommend just going for the most cheapest option um, on, on GoDaddy or whatever one hosting plan you choose. Um, you can always increase your, your hosting plan as you're moving forward. So the best thing to do is start off on the cheapest option and the cheapest service, and then you can just upgrade if, and if you need be. So once you're happy, Super simple, just hit buy and then the checkout page will appear and then you're just gonna add in your information, payment information, etc. Uh, it's very simple to set up hosting and, and a domain name. But as I mentioned, just make sure that when you're picking up your domain name and your hosting, that you're only kind of going for the basic plans because you, you generally don't need any, any more than the basic plan. So when you're ready, just hit the, the buy button and then you're gonna get a cart and checkout and then you can obviously choose the, the correct amount of months that you're looking to host for. Um, usually I just go for 12 months. Uh, I find within the, within the 12 months, that's a good range for me to be happy with the service, check on the customer support, feel that my hosting needs are being met. And if it isn't, then I can always move it over to another company. Um, of course, if you spend a bit more time with them, they're gonna give you more discounts. So to bear that in mind as well. Uh, once you're happy with your, with your um, plan and your hosted months, then feel free to hit continue and then you're gonna go through to the payment process. 
Now, one thing I wanted to mention is this is a premium version of hosting that I use. It's not a shared hosting like uh, GoDaddy or Bluehost. It's actually a private server uh, and you pay for your own server and then you can host your own domains on those. This is a more of an expert um, and professional type of setup. And I'd recommend it as you have one, two, three plus type of sites. But for your first site, you just want the basic hosting and the basic uh, package for your the actual place that you registered your domain name. So next, now you've got your hosting, you've got your domain, now you need to pick up a theme. Now there are lots of different free themes you can pick up um, for your affiliate blog, um, your niche website, and there are lots of premium um, themes that you can use as well. And I'm gonna highlight two of the ones that I've used pretty much for all of my websites. And the first one on the free side is a website called Generate Press. And the this is a free one. And the premium one is a website called Astra. And I'll highlight the differences between the two. So Generate Press is very simple to use. It's a foundational um, block by block building website tool. And again, because it's free, you can download and use it almost automatically. It's really, really fast in terms of page speeds. That's one of the reasons why I recommend it. It's very simple to set up. And importantly, it's compatible. So it's compatible with lots of different plugins, lots of different add-ons to, to your website, uh, hostings and security types of plugins. And generally, it's a one size fits all. So just to give you a quick example of what a Gener generate press theme uh, looks like, let's hit blog here in the site library and let's click on this one here. So let's preview this one here. So it's very simple, um, very, very sleek, very minimal, but it works. So you can, of, of course, customize uh, lots of different options here. But, in, but at its core, it's a simple, high speed, low resource type of theme and it works really well for affiliate blogs. Now, if you're feeling like you wanna spend a little bit more money and you just want that edge on your website, then I would probably recommend Astra as the next theme. Again, there are lots of premium themes you can use. Um, I find Astra has absolutely everything you'll need at a very competitive price. Um, and again, speed, resources, and your compatibility, it's all within Astra. So I quickly highlight the price because for me, usually that's where I kind of draw my line. If it's too expensive, then I just kind of say no. If it's in a reasonable um, budget and a reasonable theme price, then I'm going to say yes. And what I love about Astra is it's yearly, but it's very much a one size fits all. So you pay a one fee and then you can add any website that you have, whether it's one or 10, into your package and just download the theme, which I think is quite reasonable. So let's take a look at some of the uh, actual templates themselves. This is for an outdoor site, as you can see. Let's take a look at the live preview. So it's, it's, it's quite simple, but it gives you an element of, of luxury, um, maybe a slightly more authoritative type of website. Uh, as you can see, it's more of a premium theme, something that will probably stand out in your, in your industry or your niche. Um, and it's just got that premium element to it. Um, again, super simple layout, and you can customize and add anything that you want, images, blocks, templates, tables, etc. So very clean website and very, very clean theme I, th I found. So next, I'm just gonna very quickly touch on where you, how you add this theme into your WordPress um, login area. So let's go ahead and, and head over to one of my test sites now. So, so far you have your domain name, you've registered it, you have your hosting, so your, your domain is actually hosted on the internet. And now you're going to add your theme or your plugin. So very quickly, I'm going to show you how to do this in part one of this video, and then in part two, I'll show you how to add lots more plugins and make it look more like a functioning website to um, earn money online and to grow organically. So very simply, once you're logged in, you're gonna to go to the side here, and if you're adding any plugins, you're gonna just go to the plugins menu on the left. Uh, but if you're gonna add a theme, so for example, Astra or Generate Press, you just hit themes. Usually you'll find Generate Press will already be within the default themes within WordPress, which is fantastic. You can just add it as is, or you can actually upload your own, and it's very simple to do. You just click on the add new button here, and then hit upload theme. Once you're ready, you hit choose, and then you can upload Astra or any of the premium themes that you choose. Once it's installed, it will default be selected, and then you can go in and activate it and customize it if you need if you need to. So hopefully that's shown um, how simple it is to set up a blog, whether it's for the first time um, or if you've done it a few, a few times, it's very simple to set up. And here's the cool thing, once you've set it up once, you just can go back to your registrar, so that's Namecheap for us, and pick up a new domain, and then host it with GoDaddy, uh, or host it with any of the hosting um, companies that you choose. But usually once you've done it once, it's super simple to do again. Anyhow, I hope you found this video uh, interesting and you've got a little bit of value from it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.